This is Jeff with Arizona Hot Homestead. Today, we're looking at pretty trees. Now, a little tree, and then that tree, both are coming out. Because that's right in my porch. And that one's, I'm going to put a wall there. See the line, I don't know if you can see the line right there. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, goes over here, and then there's the other, there's a corner. That tree stands in my way. So it's coming down. But what's going to be cool, I think, is i still going to have that little one there that's going to remain. So we'll see how that works out. So those are coming down. Obviously, that means that guy's going to get some work. A little bitty 16-inch uh, chainsaw. Yes, it looks new because I just bought it yesterday. So, never own one. My friends have one. So when we go get wood and camping and all that, uh, they're responsible for the uh, chainsaw, so I never got one. So I guess I need to grow up and get a chainsaw, so I did. So, look at this. These are parts of the tree. This is called a shaggy juniper. And it was right there. And right now I'm just taking this little guy here and just cutting it up into smaller pieces. The reason why I'm doing this, cutting down this tree here, is because basically right on the other side of that stump, I gotta remove that stump, on the other side of that stump is gonna be my um my propane tank and that just makes it super easy to get into it's got to be four feet from the building so that makes a nice walkway right along here I'm going to take the rock that's over here and I'll put some of it right there and then tomorrow I guess and when you're watching the video it'll all be in the same day I'm going to uh, have a 5,000 gallon water tank put right there. And so this also just makes it easy for them to get the tank in. And uh, and then I don't know what I'm going to do. I was thinking, tell me what you guys think. I was thinking attaching to this building and over here, just like some kind of gate. Just a little, I don't know, what's that, 10 feet or so? Just a little 10 feet feet, 10 foot freestanding wall with a door. And that just kind of will hide the uh, the propane but yet they can still get to it to fill it and uh, and I can still get walk around where, so I don't have to walk all the way around my place. I can walk right through here right on the corner right on the other side of where that guy is going to be up against this wall is going to be a uh, my utility room that's going to be a solar room, utility room, electric room, whatever you want to call it that's going to hold my solar batteries my components and everything so from this corner here down 10 feet and then out about 10 feet and I think it comes to right about oh, if you can see this here's my foot that's spread out as far as I can <laughs> that's about 10 feet ish so anyhow I'm gonna put that and then right down here when they trench this I'll move in my uh, slider but when they trench this they're gonna put the water line here and then a few inches over, they're going to put the propane line. And the propane, they say, can go underneath this building. Not that building, but under this building. And right over to there. And it just has to be four, the tank has to be four feet from there, which is perfect. So I got a lot of work to do. I got to take that, put it off to the side. And I need to take this rock here. 
and I need to remove the rock because they're going to bury my uh, tank. My tank's about nine feet and they're going to put it a couple feet in the ground and the frost line here is 24 inches so this way I can uh, I'll have my water line run 24 inches to the trailer and that will reduce any frost potential and being also on the ground here it makes it easier to get to the top of the tank to fill it for uh, because of my uh, rain gutters so the rain gutters and pumping water into the tank will be easier to do be also easier for me to peek inside and check it out make sure things uh, aren't grown inside or or a critter decide to make it its home a big swimming pool <laughs> so but I'll show you all that once it uh, gets in uh, like I said it's supposed to be here in the morning it's on the evening the day before I don't think days really matter when you're thinking about out uh, here because when I do a video sometimes I post it same day sometimes the next couple days sometimes a week later so it's hard to say so just know it's Wednesday water water tank comes on Thursday and then uh, and then I'll have some water put in it a little bit later and then uh, and then I'll have then like a week or so later I'll have the propane delivered and that will be full so very cool progress is going don't forget to like subscribe comment uh, on these chainsaws I'm gonna have to because here in Arizona and it's kind of a year-by-year -year thing but they'll allow you to go in the forest and cut cords of firewood though right now they'll allow you to get 10 cords of wood and for only 50 bucks so that's pretty awesome five bucks a cord but you gotta go get it yourself and there's restrictions on where you could go and all that so they give you a map and you gotta tag it the whole thing on your way back but obviously this little guy here may not do the job so I like to have a backup so tell me what you guys think of this uh, this home light 16 inch uh, chainsaw um, if you've got other ideas on what works better let me know and because uh, I do want to pick up a, another one I don't want to spend 400 bucks for a chainsaw this was a like 135 that's more along my price range so anyhow it worked perfect um, okay this is it the next part of my video should show some uh, the water tank being in. I don't know if I'll videotape the guy who's doing it or not. That's going to depend on them. And uh, but we'll move some stuff around. So stay tuned. Like, subscribe, comment, and maybe I'll just subscribe back. <laughs>